In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a nice man beater out of the gun tray open offset that can be found in the spread offensive playbook in Madden NFL 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been to my YouTube channel before, my channel is designed to help you get better at Madden 21. I do that through a variety of ways, like live streaming and tip videos and Discord and all that fun stuff, which you can find in the description. But the main way I do that is through my texting membership. It's so completely free to join that. All you got to do is text me. Uh, my number is 812-216-3644. It's in the top left-hand corner of your screen. It's also in the description. Just text me. Let me know you want to be a part of it. It would be great if you included your first, last name so that I can save you in my contacts. But what that is is every single week I release an exclusive video that does a deep dive on some type of concept or tip in Madden 21. And so if you haven't received those yet, the last one we did was a 50-minute run defense seminar that shows you how to stop the run from every single uh, formation in Madden 21. So uh, it's just a great resource. It's a great tool, and it really helps me do a deep dive with my members. So um, if you want to join that, you perf uh, it would be great if you do that. But if not, um, again, I post four times a day here on YouTube, and uh, we can jump right in. We're going to be talking about Trail Shake from Gun Trail Open and how it does a good job at beating man-to-man -man coverage in Madden 21. So it's very simple. You see this route to Shepard. Now you see here if I motion him, I can't snap it. And if I bring him to the left side, he's going to turn into a slant. Now, yes, the slant does beat man-to-man -man coverage. But what I want to show you primarily is how his route will work really, really well against the man-to-man -man defense. And you also have these two nice fade routes if they're in like a press man situation. So what you'll see here is against press man, you see that this play is okay. It's 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 probably an average at best, um, in my opinion, against press man. Now, if you take the running back, put him on a wheel route, you'll see that this little trail shake route will open up late on the route. Now, what I want to show you, though, is what most people are going to do against this and what most people are going to do in man-to-man -man is they're going to shade coverage outside, shade coverage over top. But with that shading, I don't know when the linebackers are – doing what they're doing but with the shading principles of the man-to-man -man coverage what you're going to see is you're going to see that this um this route as long as you take the running back put him on a wheel route it's going to kind of clear out and he's going to have nice little separation over the middle for a nice little low ball pass um and you see there it's going to be able to beat man-to-man -man. now the two outside routes Devonte adams and the other receivers um you can actually get that ball out to them if they press if they press you just want to see which receiver beats the press one of the receivers very likely that one of the receivers will beat the press and you're just going to hit them um with the opening as you see here you see i can get that ball about a scantling if they take the safeties away there the safeties are over top but i can get that ball to him if they take the safeties away which the reason they're going to take the safeties away is what you'll see here is once this route does this little shake he's going to get inside leverage and you're going to be able to throw that ball to the inside now the only thing that i would recommend is with uh, Mercedes Lewis here, your tight end. If you put him on a little hitch route, this is going to kind of help hedge your bet a little bit against that press man to man. Um, and what you'll see here, uh, again, press man does a very, very good job against this. That's why against press man, I would run something like PA Reed because this play absolutely kills press man um, because it has those natural inside position, uh, inside position breaking patterns. Um, but what you're going to find with this specific route is a lot of times you're going to see that people will drop their safeties. But if they don't shade coverage over top and they drop their safeties just like this, um, they're going to be in a lot of trouble. Because the corners are going to press and the outside release of these streaks are going to basically be able to torch... Um, to torch the man coverage. Now, one thing you can also do is you can take Valdez Scantling. If you're worried about press man, just motion him to the left and snap the ball right in here. And what you'll see is this route is going to torch press man over the top uh, of the defense, especially if I back up. I'm going to back up here, uh, give myself a little bit more room and show you this. Um, but again, guys, if you have not already picked up my offensive guide, uh, it's it's out of the Arizona Cardinals. The spread is very similar to the Arizona Cardinals ebook, but it's, this is out of the... Um, it is out of the Arizona, and there's some plays very, very similar to this that will actually help you. Um, there's even some some better route combinations than even this. But what you'll see is the vertical stems of these routes. When you put this route in motion, if they're running man-to-man -man coverage, all you got to do is just a bomb. It's just a lob streak bomb, and you're going to beat it over the top. Now, you're going to beat it over the top if they press coverage. You're going to beat it over the top if they don't press coverage. You're going to be able to beat cover two men. Now, what they're going to their solution is going to be to drop the safeties. But because you have that streak on the left side in combination with the streak that you're now motioning, 
um, you're going to see that this is going to really do a good job at beating that man-to-man -man coverage over the top. For the most part, it's going to do fairly well. So what that's going to mean is they're going to have to shade coverage outside, and they're going to have to shade coverage over top. But when they do just that, what's going to happen is it's going to open up this trail shake route to Shepard, which is a very, very good route against man-to-man, -man, especially when it's shaded man-to-man, -man, as you see right here. You're going to be able to low ball pass lead inside that route. Um, that time Jair Alexander just made kind of an out-of-this-world play. And what I would do if I were you is I'd put your best route runners in that position. But what you'll see, and you could even take Lewis. You could put him on a slant if you wanted him to kind of clear out some things. Um, but what you'll see here, see how I can inside pass lead that route to Vada Scantling? Those streaks really work off one another to help provide even better options for this play. Because you get him in motion, and what you're going to see is now he's got oh, he's got inside position. And, oh, he's underneath it. So I can kind of get that ball over the top. And that time I shouldn't have thrown it. I should have thrown it. Um, I should have thrown it with a little bit more vertical um, stem to it. But if you mess around with this a little bit, you will get this very, very easily. Like I said, with the, sh the trail shake route, though, um, it's a great little check down. These two routes are going to kind of work off one another, come underneath the zones. And, you know, again, the better route running receiver you have there, the better that's going to work against man-to-man -man coverage. I'll show you this real quick for the left side. So this is an example just to show you, you know, what happens if you don't have, you know, Jair Alexander on you. Look at how much more separation. So, you know, it's a route running thing. Okay, if I have Devontae Adams there, he's going to be able to beat it. But this route in combination with these two streaks is really what I wanted to show you because what this will do for your offense, it will really add another dimension to it because you're now able to beat the meta man-to-man -man coverage over the top of the defense you're able to beat the um the shaded coverage over the top when they shade outside which most defenses are going to do when they shade outside especially on marquez valdez scantling's route what you're going to see is it's going to kind of cut to the this natural like stem natural cut to the inside and you're going to be able to get that ball in there if you throw it quick so this this route combination does really really good against man it's even better against zone coverage what you'll see against zone, again, you're going to bring this guy over, snap a ball right in here, and they're basically going to have to choose which one they're going to want to guard. Most of the time, they're going to take the vertical streak. And so you're going to be able to check down to that, check down to that underneath, um, underneath little shake route over and over and over and over again. Right there, Perry Nickers is just playing out of his mind for whatever reason for these guys. But, you know, again, if you have good route running there, um, the Packers don't exactly have the best route running uh, outside of Devontae Adams. It's one of the challenges with the team. But you'll, you'll be just fine with this, like I said. Um, and then if you take that slant right there, this trail shake route, if you could motion it, it would be a lot better, uh, in my opinion. But it does get underneath it as long as they shade outside. As long as they shade outside. Now, most people are going to shade outside. And the other thing I want you to see real quick is, like, if they press coverage you, and let's just say they take the safeties away. These streaks are such that they're going to get the, the right positioning that you need. Unless the corner is just superior to your uh, player, you know, that's the only situation that that's not going to work out in. But like here, where you've got a superior wide receiver like Devontae Adams, he's going to beat him by several yards uh, over the top, as you can see right there. You're going to be able to use those streaks on both sides. And then that trail shake route really is more of when they're when they are truly honoring these streaks and they're really taking those away that's when you're going to hit that work that right out of the middle just like that right there so anyways guys that's the trail shake if you have not joined the discord please do that that's in the description of this video and also just a quick reminder um, we will be live streaming tonight around uh, right after Thursday Night Football. So as soon as the Thursday Night Football game is over, that's when we'll be live on uh, YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook. Thank you guys for your time. If you haven't subscribed yet, I want to encourage you to do that. And if you haven't joined the text message membership, highly encourage that. I think that's a very, very effective way for you to get better at this game. And uh, we'll see you in our next video.